Hello everyone. Remember these things while filling the application form for ECHS. So this video is meant for dentists who are going to fill ECHS application forms. Please listen to the given points very carefully because if you don't follow them, then your application may be rejected. Okay. This is how the application form will be looking like. So the first uh, part, as you can see, is mentioned as post applied for. This place has to be clearly mentioned as dental officer if you are looking for that post. The name of the polyclinic applied for is uh, the second uh, detail that you have to fill in. Uh, so please write your na the name of the polyclinic that you are specifically applying for. It has to be very clearly written. Uh, because in the notification, what happens is that there are several places that are mentioned in that region. So if you do not specifically write the polyclinic that you are aiming for, then it is understood that it is okay for you wherever you get, you are fine with the location. If you are fine with the location, it's okay. But if you are not, then there's a problem. So that's why please mention the particular polyclinic that you are applying for. Uh, of course, the rest is all uh, self-explanatory out here. It's the name and if you wear an army, then you have to write your rank, the unit that you have served, date of birth, the gender, postal address, and then comes educational qualifications uh, in which you have to write the qualification, the year of passing, the place of passing, the number of attempts, and the percentage that you have scored. Okay. The next part of the form, which is point number six, would be the work experience. Let us try to understand the fact that for you to be eligible to apply for ECHS, you should have BDS with a minimum five years of experience. Uh, so here in this column, you are supposed to write the places that, where, you, where you have worked or the place where you have worked and the period of employment has to be mentioned clearly. That is calculated uh, to understand what is your experience. So if it is, if you have changed in between, the reason why you have changed has to be mentioned here. Um, and then of course the registration number, the date of registration, any awards that you have got. And if you had previously served in the army, or the center of the state government that has to be also mentioned here and then if you were already working in ECHS and the reason for termination that also has to be mentioned here uh, now this is a list of documents that you will have to attach when you will be applying so you just have to prepare one set of photocopy of each of the following documents which is Aadhaar card, PAN card, 10th certificate, 12th certificate, graduation certificate, attempt certificate, and uh, dental council registration certificate. Then comes uh, a medical fitness certificate, experience certificate as applicable, and a no objection certificate from the current employee. Now, in this case, if you see, uh, the medical certificate as I had mentioned earlier would be already given, the format is given, you just have to uh, fill it in through a, a medical officer and get the signatures from there and uh, then that has to be submitted. Okay. So now what you have to remember is that please write clearly the application for the post of what if it is dental officer, dental officer, you have to write this particular thing, application for the post of dental officer on the top of the envelope while sending the ECHS application form. This helps in sorting things out. Otherwise, there are different uh, applications coming in uh, under different categories. It becomes difficult for them also. That is why it's always a better idea of writing the post that you're applying for right on top of the uh, envelope. 
all the columns of the application form has to be duly filled by yourself please don't make someone else do that and uh, make sure that you are writing everything in capital letters uh, cutting and overwriting is strictly prohibited so uh, if these things are there it can go for rejection if you have not filled your form correctly if it is incomplete if you have done an overwriting and you have not signed there and if you, if your application does not have a photograph these are the conditions when your form can be rejected another most important thing is that if you claim that you have an experience of say 5 years or say 10 years and uh, you have written in the first column that i have shown uh, which is uh, which is point number 6 wherein you have this table and you have to mention here so make sure that every work experience mentioned here has got a relevant uh, experience certificate also you should have it in original because when they call you up for interview then uh, you should be able to produce that to the interview panel also when you are mentioning here you should have the photocopy of each and every year of uh, experience that you have mentioned if you have uh, worked in one single place for the past 7 years or so then things become easier for you but otherwise uh, uh, you have to show that uh, you have worked here and uh, if you do not have an experience certificate for the same again this will lead to the rejection of your form okay so i think that's all i have for now uh, we'll keep you posted for more so i wish you all the best and uh, thank you so if you like this video please like share and subscribe